city, now my office is The world has a word stress This is what you're facing Face it, embracing Mixing all our graces Shifting all our forces Who knew all of the trudging on his forces hey. No one can look so far No one can threaten the future Still no one step on Mars lives in what is that beeping sound for christ yeah that's a it's a special game arachnid it's the it's the goddamn bomb come on arachnids live in these they spin them and they live in them come on come on say it say the word or it's gonna fucking explode what 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 what, what? the arachnids live inside these they spin them they're made of silk please arachnids Yeah, arachnid, uh, arachnophobia, uh, fucking, they have pincers, they have eight legs, and they flip in these, they spin them. So that Charlotte it? had one. Charlotte had one. Charlotte had one. Oh, fucking spider web, bro. <laughs> A fucking spider web, man. Now everyone has died. Jesus, we've all died today because of your... Jeez, it's a fucking spider web. Is arachnid too much? You, you, sometimes I use way more complex words than arachnid. Arachnid. Ugh, arachnidoriums. Computoriums. It's a, it's a spider. It's a spider. It's a spider. Um, anyway. So this, this is how we begin the uh, 12th episode. How many episodes have we done? Uh, I don't know, five? I think this is, let's call it the fifth, let's call this the fifth episode of Summoning the Nonsense with myself, Zachary Winchester, the magical troll, uh, uh, the nonsense man, and hailing from Transylvania, Mexico, Boston, Sasquatch. Yes, it is I. What is that, what is that, what inspired the Sasquatch on your, your FB, your space? Well, basically, the way I look. I have ah. big beard, big hair, and a lot of hair on my face. 
I I have similar. I, I don't have much hair on the top of my head, but I do, I do grow a grizzled beard. Um, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. The goddamn mushroom pair. We were on Facebook earlier and uh, posted a, a, a massive mushroom picture of the human being standing on this mushroom that was rather large, very large, inordinately big. And uh, the debate began whether or not this mushroom exists. Uh, and it turns out that this, this photo is both. There is a mushroom. It's uh, 2,400 years old. And it's fucking. It's the size of many football. It's 400 miles across. And this, but this is the roots. This isn't the, the top of the mushroom. That'd be absurd. The mushroom from the Oregon forest, which will grow and grow until it will transform into a new species and then it will just try to take over the world, basically. It already kills trees. I mean, I've read the article, the science article, and it kills life forms that uh, exist near it. It, it, it feeds off the life. Yeah, who's to say it's not a better thing? I mean, we feed off the life of things, and I think we're pretty cool. Yeah. You know, we yeah. have the sun, so, you know, the thing on vegetarianism is that I like that. Well, like meat is showing that I, have, like, I can't eat a lot of meat or I shouldn't eat a lot of meat because it, it does things with your with the tubes that send the blood to the brain and that's important you know I like having blood in my brain and, and my and chest organs and such but uh, as far as just it being wrong for me to eat meat because I'm a human I have thumbs fuck you I have thumbs I can fucking kill you I can kill you ergo I should it, uh, if you can do a thing doesn't that mean you should most of the time huh I mean, we have nukes. We have all sorts of stuff. And I think it's time to start just experimenting with it for the fuck of it. Like, we can clone a zebra giraffe. We could have a zebra giraffe. That could happen. Why the fuck not, man? Maybe the nukes was going a little bit far. Maybe that's the one thing we shouldn't do. I know that there's, there's, there's intergalactic civilizations that are not, not allowing us to use our nukes. And God bless them. Don't you... Don't you can I pick up on that? There's, uh, we've got some. I agree with the zebra giraffe with wings, and I take this occasion to spam my website, which is called wingedgiraffe.com. Yes. Very good. Very good site. The winged giraffe would be, would be great because uh, just, just like you know, so many things, the, the penguin, uh, the, the, the duck-billed platypus, uh, these are birds that cannot, I've never really thought of a platypus as a very as bill, but, uh, you know, all the flightless birds that exist, I, I could not see the aerodynamics of a giraffe taking flight. You know, that would look ridiculous. No. Really what? Ridiculous. Mycelium. Mycelium is real. What is a cilium? Mushroom. Are a thing. Mushrooms are an entire thing. Mushrooms are real. The, the mushroom picture may be, may be doctored, but God damn it, everyone who sees that on the, the people scroll down the, the internet, the internetting, the interwebs, the spider web of the internet, and they see things. And of course, you have to assume reality and legitimacy of everything you see on the internet. So, you know, there are people liking that picture now thinking, God, that's a massive mushroom that exists that, that picture is bullshit uh and, and but but bullshit i think bullshit is legitimate i think that william wallace and jesus christ and ghosts and the force and uh these crystals like i have these crystals laying in front of me and my hippie friends tell me that they have magical powers and shit is there any objectivity to that i've had many people say yes that uh several very intelligent people uh give me give me some 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 Sciency reasoning behind these crystals and their magical powers. Now, I also have many friends who think uh, that it's complete bullshit. I think laughable. it's pseudoscience. It is called pseudoscience. People who are not yeah, successful like in astrology it. and things, but yes, but it works. But it works. It works. I and mean, you know, I have a lot of big time astrology friends, mostly girls. But uh, it works for them. It dictates their lives. It may it. No, it no, no. changes their behavior. Uh, they are it the ones their... who change their behavior. So they are the ones who no, actually, no. you know, they suggest inside their minds that they say, 
this crystal may, will make me feel more empty towards the humans. But in fact, they are the ones who actually remind themselves that they need to be a little emphatic, and empathic, you know? So, but Jesus do you understand? Jesus makes people empathic, and Jesus, uh, people who were born into the Jesus thing didn't create the Jesus thing, so it's not... I mean, you could say that it's them making the effort because there's some people that are presented with the whole Christ stuff and they don't get into it, but some people take to it well. Some, some people get into it, but they get into it for the wrong reasons and then they end up being the reason why, like, you know, there's people who are meanie pantses to, to, to the gaymans, you know. And then, oh. so I'd say that that's not Christy at all. That's not, but there's people who, are, who actually act super Christy. I know Christy people who are great at being Christy. Jesus is and, a and I would say model. that Jesus... I think Jesus is a well, good model, but okay, so that's about real, it. Name a real thing, then, Vasto. What's a real thing? Am a real, I a real thing? thing? Uh, you can't really name a real thing. I suppose you could say signals and frequencies are real, but other than that, everything we see and feel, you know, it's just like uh, they say in the, in the Matrix, uh, you know, everything is just an electric interpretation made. <laughs> side of your brain by your receptor so actually when you are looking at something you are not actually looking at something, you are looking inside your brain if you can imagine that you know? so, so if I take a photo of myself right now, if I take a selfie of myself, if I take a, a self portrait photograph right now and I don't doctor it with photoshop and I upload it and people click like on it for whatever fucked up reason uh, how is that photo different from the mushroom picture as far as it's reality I think it's quite real. There it is. You know? Well, we we'll have to detail. That detail was the more. longest period of science in the history of summoning the nonsense, ladies and gentlemen. That one right there. I think that was it. Ring the bell. Holy shit. <laughs> it's got to be some kind of a record. Uh, okay, but, so then, uh, you know, what, what you said... Yeah. What you said proves your own theory. It proves the nonsense. It it's proves that we must not be serious. Because <laughs> everything might be real. Even if I say that unicorns are flying in the sky, for me, this is my reality. And uh, it is real. <laughs> I observe that every day. Man, I've been having dreams. Okay. I've been having dreams that are more suggestive to real life stuff, to waking life stuff. Not as in the movie Waking Life, which is fantastic. But, uh, you know, my, my waking life and my um, objective agendas are coming up in my dreams now. It's really crazy. They're suggesting things. I wake up and it, 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 I can clearly make the connections. And even though I'm just forming it in my, like, the crystal folk and the Christy people, I, I'm, I feel like I'm being told to do stuff when I sleep now. Which is, Jesus, does it ever end, you know? <laughs> At what point? I... I I used to be able to shut off and go into fantasy land at times, and now everything is engaging me in this life stuff. And life is cool. I enjoy life. And I've realized that, I'm, you know, with the, the limited amount of time that we have to do this, I, we might as well dive right in. You know, I know a lot of people who spend a lot of their time doing sleepy stuff when they're living. And it's like, uh, I, I get told that, that I get people say, oh, uh, uh, you got any more meth for me, kid? You fuck, or you, you I want what he's on. You fucking, oh, you're you're too energetic. You're uh, you chill out, man. What do you got, ADD or something? But uh, I think that it's very appropriate to be fucking freaked out at the fact that you exist. Holy shit! This is now. God damn it! Hey, hey there, hey humans. Let's communicate. I have things. You have things. Let's take our thought things and do stuff with them with our movement hands and our and our finger flanges. And let's take hand showers between touching things because some things are dirty, but nothing is sterile. Everything's going to be all right, though, you know? <laughs> yeah. We have life forms inside of the life forms inside of the life forms, so there's no point in trying to prevent life forms. It is an endless fractal. It is an endless chasm of metaphorical fractals, turtles. Metaphors and fractals, metaphors and patterns, infinite spiraling metaphorical universe. Hello, hello. So lately I've been thinking that if I, if I Christ down on my family, like just my nuclear family, then if, if there's results there, those results will transmit, will, will translate, will transfer 
into larger macro things. Like if I were to solve all the issues with my nuclear family, and I'm not going to name them because it's some personal shit, bro, even though it gets aired in rap battles sometimes. Uh, <laughs> fucking if I, if, if, if I could just correct little macro things about my own existence, I, I think that there is an interconnectivity thing going on there that will make it so, you know, maybe North Korea will stop being douche canoes. Or, uh, you know, maybe my own country will stop being quite so douchey. Yeah, uh, we have Sink in the call. <laughs> in the, uh, here with us, if he wants to say something. Hello, Sink. I thought you just said we have a sinkhole. Hello, Sink. We have sink. sinkholes in America. Sink, are you there? Are you there, Sink? What the fuck are you doing? Are you masturbating? Okay, let's get on with our show. Let's assume. Yeah, he's from Minnesota. He's from fucking Minnesota, bro. What do people do in Minnesota? They jerk up. I think we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back? Hello there. We're back. Sorry about that. That was a thing that wasn't real. That didn't just happen. And I'm telling you that right now. And I'm a thing on the internet, so I'm legitimate and reliable when I tell you truths about your waking reality. Whatever just happened just then was not really a thing in the same way the giant mushroom or Jesus Christ or William Wallace or ghosts or the force or fairies are. I have a friend who talks to fairies all the time. In fact, I need to have my fairy talking angel speaking to friend on this show soon. We're going to do that. And we're going to be intellectually honest with each other and it's going to get really, really, really weird. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Because I'll, pr- I'll probably be being completely intellectually honest with her for the first time <laughs> in our knowing each other. You know, I have a lot. I have a lot of friends who are in a pseudo scientific things, and they're, uh, they're, uh, they're. It's it's not just that it's cute. It works, man. I was driving the other day, and it dawned on me that the hippies are right. The hippies are, are the, like the the folk who are coming up with models. And I'm not just the hippies. The Christy people who do it right. Uh, anybody who comes up with a model and applies it, and it works out. They are right, and I stopped using models for like a solid month there, and I've never been so eeyore like. I've never been so perpetually. <laughs> you need to have fucking angels and fairies and Jedi mind tricks and shit, or life just gets exceedingly boring. I don't have any models so, yet. Yeah. I, I find the balance in my life, and I I see the decisions without the crystal telling me how to act. Or Jesus telling me what to do, I can just feel it myself. What's uh, what's to do and what is not to do, and I don't like to tell people who tell me the future, but because I would like to uh, have the freedom of choice and uh, you know explore the abstract nature of of my existence. Basically, I don't have anything against you know believing in some uh, some magic stuff. You know, it, it makes you your existence. Stuff that some people would think is magic stuff. It's, when you when you when you give me a new instrumental, you always you always preface it by saying, "Do you feel the energy is within this new instrument?" <laughs> well, it's different. Do you feel the cosmic flow of energy. Do you feel? <laughs> and I say yes because I can feel the fucking cosmic flow of the energy. That's why I enjoy writing tunes to music. But I, there are so many folk who would say like, "Cosmic energy? What the fuck, bro?" I mean, I like. <laughs> Ball and and whole grains and you know women. <laughs> I enjoy I enjoy uh, football video games when when they allow you to do the choke slam and suplex and other fantastic things that remind me of my childhood. I uh, I enjoy women folk. That's such a general thing to say that you God. have many many women uh, friends. I have, I have many women friend. I'm not docking genitals with any of them at this moment. But when I return to that arena, you'll tell. You'll be able to tell the the, the day that I broadcast after having just ended my. Uh, all your I, friends are beautiful. Yeah, I, no, I have very, I have very, very attractive uh, female friends. I'm not docking genitals with any of them, though. I want to be very <laughs> clear about this. Uh, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm the super effeminate, harmless dude that they can hang out with. <laughs> who says quirky things? But I no, I'm I am not I'm not <laughs> fucking any of my friends right now. I'm not fucking any of them. Not, we're not we're not fucking. Why not? They should. Although like, I, have, I have several female friends. Continue. They should uh, they should have mercy for you and do it 
just with no reason at all. Well, I, I have friends that I that it's kind of they're my platonic female friends, and when I go to out with them in public, there it is always assumed that we are fucking each other, and that sometimes that has been a roadblock to me being able to fuck other people, which I really want to be fucking other people. Because I, I, I've realized lately that the next time I fuck a person, <laughs> it'll have to be an entirely new soul. There's no one that I know in my in my social network right now that I that there's people that I want to dock genitals with in a virtual reality, but I just don't. There's nobody that I want to deal with their intolerable personalities. I need I need to, uh, I need to meet new folk. I've been going to Detroit a lot more lately, and uh, and and I'm really beginning to enjoy. This, well, I've always enjoyed it to some degree, but I'm re- I'm beginning to enjoy the the art community of one Detroit city. There's this open mic that I go to every other Friday now, and Jesus Christ, this last one there was there was a violinist who made it sound like static. It was really awesome. Uh, there was this the fl- a flutist who played percussion on the flute and did awesome things. There was this guy uh, who turned sh- took a Shakespeare excerpt and then made it modern with some stuff about like his his friend who has eight different kids with eight different wives and you know wives uh women and uh and you know can't leave the state because then it oh hip lips lead to the hips show enough give you the blues uh it was crazy it was just such an eclectic and then me and space dragon fucking went and did intergalactic rappy things you know what i, what oh. I think uh what's a cool little uh model thing that uh it has some it has some some bearing in reality is the whole concept of oh, people being awake or asleep like Terrence McKenna and Alan Watts say it a lot. Um, to those who are in a sleep-like state, you know, there is there are certain frequencies. I think there are s- certain words and phrases and and rhythmic patterns when said with intent. I think that uh, not to be hubristic in nature or overconfident in my own abilities, but I believe that myself, Zachary Winchester, may possess, as well as many other magical turtles, the ability to uh, to write <laughs> and prepare a premeditated presentation that will, uh, in, in so many words, cause people to wake up, you know, and that's what I'm working on now, and I think, uh, and I think it's, I think, you can even uh, you can say nonsense things and just with the intention. I, I think waking folks up is a cool little mission to to say that's what my mission is to doing. protect the human that's race <laughs> by injecting <laughs> injecting uh, injecting pseudoscience and fairy tales into them and making them allies with which we will take over. Well, I, no, I think that it's about this. It's about not waking up, but the, this uh, this is the, as a nonsense man. See, because there's different. We all have different roles. I myself have taken on several roles. To be a nonsense man is, uh, I hate to use the word teaching, is trying to impart people my own meandering observation of the quote unquote fact that reality is nonsense. It's interchangeable with fantasy. You can use models in reality that will get you further than real objective things. That all of this is bullshit. Uh, in the same sense, all, all of this is very real and happening right the fuck now and definitely warrants your uh, attention. Nothing necessarily warrants your concern unless you enjoy being concerned. I personally like freaking out a little bit. I, I, I like, I enjoy fear. I enjoy, uh, not really true fear. I enjoy sarcastic, smarmy alarm. Like, I like freaking out about the reptoids, even though I don't really believe that's a thing in the same way that uh, that the winged giraffe is. Because the winged giraffe is an objective thing. That is real. I've seen winged zebra giraffes. I've never seen a, a fourth-dimensional shape-shifting reptile. Yeah. Yes, I have, actually. Hmm. In YouTube videos. But, uh, but, okay, so that's what... I'm- nonsense man is to be a magical turtle is to unite the entire biological fractal under a banner of love and unity so we can spiral throughout the galaxy and, and just enjoy our stay in the multiverse in these in these magical biological vessel shells with the salmon folk in the winter gardens and all the samuel snout salsica berries and all that shit and then there's just being smarmy douchebag zach winchester who shows up tonight 
at 9.15, I've always been, I'm always late to my own open mic, and I get drunk, and I talk about my dick, and, and hope people laugh, and, 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 it's, and, and all three of those things are enjoyable. As where you, Vosto, I would say, you're, you're an intergalactic sorcerer at times, you're a cynic, and, and sometimes you, are, you yourself are also a nonsense man, but I think one of your most important roles is when you enter second life as a giant burning cock, and uh, and run rampant in people's virtual lives. That that is one of the that is one of the, the greatest moments that I that, and, and we and we were able to film it. Yeah, that, that is uh, no doubt an important thing that we all must engage in. You know, <laughs> like I said in that video. Yeah, trolling is really important, man. Tro trolling essentially is being a nonsense man. It's like it's just just reminding people, hey, hey, you're getting too serious now. Come on now. Like, what I like to, my analogy is that the Illuminati or NWO or power elite or whatever you want to call the folk who are trying to do the, the, the 80% population reduction and all that, that, all that weirdo shit. Um, those people, to me, are like the guys at the disc golf course who take disc golfing way too serious. All right, do they have disc golfing where you, where you exist? Disc. It's frisbee golf. It's golfing with a frisbee. It's impossible. I don't understand this concept. Oh, it's so much fun, bro. Oh, it's uh okay, there's this chain box thing. If you look up disc, disc golfing, you it's really 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 rewarding. When you win, it is good. The, next to next to causing your uh suitor or suitorette, your your sexual partner to to have a a, a Shiva blast orgasm whilst you're fucking them, uh next to that and maybe scoring a goal in soccer because it's nearly impossible. Um, I would say that doing well in disc golf is one of the most rewarding things there is. Holy shit! Like I'm, I'm just recently beginning to. I'm beginning to enjoy sport more. <laughs> we are the fourth dimensional shape shifting red wing aliens. We have come for the lifeblood of your children, and we have a, b a base in the moon. He shoots, he fucking scores. Zetterberg is in the blue. He's on the, he's on neutral territory. I'm gonna swim past your porpoise and fuck the linen cloth. All right, that was ridiculous. Um, hey. I was shouting. Uh, I was just going to say that we have sync in the in the sky. Maybe he wants to say something about. You know, it's perspective on the life. Question. Sometimes people maybe ask, ask questions. Zinc, like, prompted with a question. I don't know. Ask him something. Um, how, how, if the entire world was lubricated, if the entire world was covered in a thin film of slippery goo, would I'm it be okay? All the way around the world. So it would be okay. I'm sure I'd find a way to You'd deal with okay it. You'd be okay with that. I mean, you have to adapt. That's... I mean, if the world's already lubricated, what am I going to do about it? I just have to... I don't know. Dude, dude, that's right. That's exactly... That's the philosophy <laughs> that gets across in the art of trolling. You have, you must accept everything that comes out. I realized that the other day. <laughs> Jesus, you really do, man. It's like, if a fucking... If a Viking or cops out of my closet right now and begins fucking me to death, I pretty much just have to, well, I, can, I can try to throw elbows, but uh, there's a certain point where I just have to accept that this is happening now. You hear my voice in your brain, and uh, yeah, yeah. Like, like, <laughs> Mr. like Mr. Miyagi in that movie. <laughs> you know, the ancient master telling you, you must fight your fear and focus, focus now. Be at the center, be shapeless, be like the water. Water's not what? really shapeless. Uh, well, if you put it into a bucket, it becomes the bucket. If you put it into your mouth, it becomes your mouth. What? Same uh, with yeah. cats. Um, I've never put a cat inside my mouth, to be completely honest. I put the entire head of a cat inside my mouth. No, a baby kitten. You don't do that? Whenever I've ever had a kitten, whenever we we welcome a new kitten into my home, I always put its head in my mouth. I'm not kidding. George Bush. We take a photo. 
Yeah, I know. I'm aware of that. Just like yeah, the the, the elite of our society are putting the the cats in their mouths. So why shouldn't we do it as well? I can see no reason. Uh, I I could give you like twelve reasons not to bite down. Jesus Christ! I almost just fell into the chasm. Oh my Christ! My Tupperware bin has exploded. Fuck me! Fuck them! Fuck it! Fuck the lions! Fuck the cows! Fuck the cows! Fuck the cats! Fuck the dudes! Fuck them! Fuck you! All right, I almost fell. That was bad. <laughs> that was fun. Listen, all these things that have been happening in our reality lately. This is Seth for birds been telling you that it's not a coincidence, okay? It's the Jews, okay? The Jews did JFK, the Jews did 9-11, the Jews did the Jews. The Jews actually were responsible for the creation of of the, the original Jew, which was Jesus Christ, who then shed his reptilian scales and became a man, who then became a Christian, and that is why we exist today. It's because oh. of this. Lizards, Jews, and, and, and rabbits. And I will find you in the woods and I will teach you the ways of the serpentine. And then I will put crystals. You know what I think about when I think about the crystal stuff? When people talk about how, like, they, they're different vibrations and stuff. I want to swallow the ones that aren't jagged. <laughs> you know? Maybe I want to swallow the jagged ones as I listen to Alanis Morissette's right, breakthrough is, album, Jagged Little Pill. This is but a new want, word for me. In the language jagged? of English. With jagged? Word? Yes. What does it mean? Jagged. Jagged. Okay, let, no, let's do this right now. Let's let's Rosetta Stone this shit. Jagged is when something... It's kind is of like very, a uh, penis. Okay, when you have rocks... This, <sighs> why'd you have to take it there? R what? What does I never, this mean? My cats never get... Erections. I have gay cats. I have a lineage of gay cats. Every time... We always... We've always wait, had wait, cats... Wait. How can how can gay cats have a lineage? That's the thing. Okay. That's the funny thing. We we have a okay. No, okay. Technically, they're not a lineage, bro. Okay, we buy them from different litters. Okay, no, we've never bred. We've never bred cats. We always and this is why whenever anybody says uh, dolphins are, are the only creatures that have sex for pleasure other than than humans, that's bullshit. Because we've we've always had cats. We always have at least four cats, and we always have uh, at least one female. But there's been times where we've had two females. And two males, and all of our cats always, always are gay. Both the both the girls and the dudes fuck, fuck each other, and they, they masturbate they sometimes. They yeah, they fuck each other. They fuck each other. <laughs> they, they fuck each other, and sometimes they they perform six, sixty nine positions on each other. I've walked in on two male cats before. I can still see their eyes. My cat, both these cats are now deceased, <laughs> but I walked in on on Pepperson and Puffer. And they were they were in a sixty nine position, licking each other's genitals, seeming to enjoy themselves. I walk in, both their heads go up like meerkats. They make eye contact with me. I slam the door and run away. And this was before this was before it was really run away. Imparted. Wait, what? Run away? Why? Yeah, I ran well, away. I still would have watched. Like, what the fuck was I supposed to do, man? This was when I was still not by any means like homophobic. Okay, I was I was born into a into a. a a uh, household that was trying to be Lutheran. I was never told to dislike anybody for their decisions and whatnot. But it, it was imparted to me in el like elementary school and and whatnot that gay was weird and 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 kind of wrong and shit. And and I had not had anyone, you know. There, obviously, you you need somebody to cue you on morality when when you're a youngin and you don't know things. And there was nobody there until a little bit later. I don't know how old I was at this. But, I mean, by, by the age of 12, I realized that some people like to fuck each other. And some people like to fuck the other ones. And some people just like to fuck. <laughs> some people like to fuck themselves. And some people like to fuck zebra giraffes with wings. And some zebra giraffes with wings like to fuck my cats. Anyway, uh, that was a tangent. That was, that was unnecessary. But I've always had gay cats, and they seem to really be enjoying it. Like my and, uh, cat used to masturbate, like lick, uh, lick his uh, problems, you know. But I, I would have let him do whatever he wanted. Problem? His problem? Yes. <laughs> his problem spots. I'm gonna start referring to my dick as my problem spot. 
<laughs> this is my problem area. There's a problem with this, and that's that it just can't get enough. Just can't get enough. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> but jagged, jagged is when something is not smooth at all. Like, okay, like, it, I, would, I would say the best way to describe it is rocks. Uh, you can see me right now, right, Basto? See. I'm, holding, I'm holding a smooth pebble. This is a smooth pebble. It's very smooth. You can drag it across. You can wet it and drag it across your forehead and feel like a man um, or, or like a, a boy girl. You can take, and this is a jagged rock. Look at this. This is a jagged fucking, there's a bunch of little micro cliffs on it. It's fucking sharp at points. It'd make a great arrowhead. You can put this on your forehead no matter how lubricated it is. It hurts and you feel like a fucking grizzled man, like a Viking, like the ones from Minnesota. Okay? Uh, my cats have always been gay and I feel like I more quickly coming from a, from not a conservative household by any means, but you know, I was, I was raised with the Christy stuff. And once again, I don't remember anyone ever telling me that it was bad to be gay. Uh, but, but I'm sure they imparted it in, in, cause I went to a Lutheran school for a little bit. Um, I'm sure I was told at some point that that was weird or wrong or something, but I feel like having homosexual cats allowed me to come to sanity a little bit quicker because I knew I loved my cats and I wasn't going to stop loving them because I know they fucked each other. Fuck each, fuck each other. We invented this new type of pronunciation. Fucking each other. Fucking the cats. Fucking. Fucking. It will fuck. soon become mainstream. I, I predict that That's in, my favorite. in two years everyone will say it the way you do it. Mm -hmm. It's going to spread. It's going to be viral. I was, I look like I, fucking my friends. Um, it's April, it's April, like late April in Michigan. It's about to be May, and it's still cold and snowing here. What's and that? I think it's the work of heart, bro. I think it is the H A A R R P. Is it too? But the, the fucking weather control thing in Alaska. I think that's what's doing it, man. I'm ready to go ahead and call it. I'm ready to say. Or it could be the effects of uh, in heavy industrialization and destruction of the planet uh, through pollution, my friend. That's, that's probably the weather really, sector. That's not nearly as sexy and attractive as... Uh, yeah, the, as it, the HARP project. Yeah, it's, it's definitely... I would highly prefer this to be an Illuminati bot. Can you please, can you not knock me off my cloud of thinking that the world is such a simple place where there is someone to blame for the strange weather patterns? Okay, I, I, uh, project. You can, okay, uh, it's harp. So, given that it's harp, are you getting it too? Well, how's Minnesota, man? Well, it's actually sunny and about seventy-two Fahrenheit out. So, can't say I have that issue. Though, just we got a foot of snow last week. Fuck you. Oh well, yeah, it was snowing last week, and I remember seeing all the people in Michigan. I was looking at. I saw. I can't believe it's snowing. They were all saying, "I can't believe I can't believe it's snowing right now." It's late. It's late April. It shouldn't be snowing. I can't believe it's snowing. And I just wanted to fucking hop out of the car and just grab him by the shoulders and shake him and be like, "Well, it is." Question from you know? the chat room: Why does my cat chase gay beard? Gay beard? Like Gandalf the gay beard? I don't know. This is the question: Why does my cat chase gay beard? Chase the gay beards. Oh, without the Apparently, gay beard is a mystical siren that lures gay cats. Why does your cat ca chase the beard? Hmm. What the f he is a the fuck does that have to do with anything, person in the chat room? You're well, a we mystical were siren? Gay cats. <laughs> when? I thought I was just... I uh, No, that, all of that was just trying to describe to, to Vasta what, what Jagged meant. Mystical now, that wasn't a conversation cats. about homosexual cats. A conversation is when you have an, a, a tangent that is not within the dream. That was, in, that was Inception that just happened. That was a tangent within a tangent. Ergo, it should not be acknowledged as its own thing. That, that was the definition of jagged. Okay, my gay cats had, to do, had something to do with me explaining to you the difference between this fucking rock and this fucking rock. God damn it. I've got two marble turtles. No, I, I just, no, I, I just, I won't, because somebody will say that it's photoshopped. Of course. And then it won't be real anymore. Because, because the world is still so unevolved that we still, still feel the need to say that's not real, and that it is. Okay, when I walked in and saw my cats fucking, that was real. 
That was real for me. As real as it gets. And the other night, I... Oh, this is a whole other tangent. Oh, uh, But, I, I mean, I can't really answer that question. I would like to. I'm sorry, my friend in the chat room, but I don't understand what your cat chasing a gay beard means. And then Rabbit Bench when I don't know comes and says the same thing, that he, the cats are chasing his gay beards, too. His gay bears? He has gay bears that are being chased by the gay cats? Okay. That makes sense, I guess. Don't, gay don't beers, question man. British. Gay beers. Yes. Ah, well, I mean, I don't know how to... See, there is my definition of what's real and what is not real. If I can't understand a thing, it is not real. Like, when people come up to me and start talking in their strange languages, they're, that's gibberish. They're not, they don't have actual thoughts and intentions behind those. God damn it, you speak American, or you fucking forever hold your peace. God damn it. You know? Vasto is somebody who has at least evolved enough to realize that, 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 that the Jews, i.e. the Americans have taken over the globe and we want you to speak Jew talk. And at least and I think you're really really proficient because myself as a Jew can understand you. Also uh, this Jew language appears to destroy the mental uh, you know functions, main functions of the brain and uh, limit your mindset as you speak it the more you speak it the more you become more yeah, uh, I agree. you know it's already affecting you. you. Can't even remember what other words to use. Yes, exactly. Yeah. For a, a rare moment of intellectual honesty, I will say yes, Vasto. I agree with that. But uh, I think it's more important that we recognize that uh, that I am too stupid and lazy to learn other languages. So, God damn it, if you want to find me in the thought world, you got to come to me. <laughs> and that is that is the attitude that is the attitude of most. Oh, I, actually, I'm, I was just kidding, my friends. English is actually a very good international language. Unites everyone. You can just simply type something, and everyone understands you. You know, it's but great. It still remains. Yeah, this is but... kind of random how we came to that, though. I feel Esperanto. like Esperanto. You know what I feel like? Schadenfreude. You familiar with the, the German term Schadenfreude? Is that enjoying the pain of others? I don't remember the exact meaning. I, I know Freud, the psychologist, but I don't know any shade of the psychologist. Shade and Freud. I would put it, if, if like an ex-girlfriend of mine who broke my goddamn heart, like if, if the one that I have, I can see her face in my brain right now. I can, I can see her entire vessel in, in my brain, and I can see my brain inside of her <laughs> that was that got weird real quick i can see her i can see her and i know her and she's so lovely and i god i hope she fucking comes back into my life but uh anyway um she she fucking stilettoed my heart she broke my heart into a million pieces if i were to hear that she fell into some some ter- terrible luck i e you know somebody sure. uh, i don't Freud. suggest anything you know something if something awful happened to her i would feel shade and freud in that moment i'd be like ha serves you right ha <laughs> ha you know, and I don't like that. I, I hate when I feel shade and Freud because that is not right. So that that is it's it's kind of the same feeling as jealousy. It's like it's it's fucking. Well, it's a happy jealousy. It's like when your jealousy is uh, is is milked. It's like when you milk. Fuck the cows. Fuck fuck the cows. Fuck the cats. Fuck the Clementines. Fuck the server, bro. Uh, it's like that. It's like uh, it's it, it's I feel shameful of it. It's kind of like when you like jerking off jerking off can is is enjoyable whilst working up to the expulsion and the the firing is is uh can be can be enjoyable but right afterward i'm stricken with shame both emotional shame and biological shame telling me you used that wrong that was supposed to make another one of us what the fuck were you why why a towel what are you doing (laughs) malfunction you suck yeah my whole my whole system starts shouting at me Stop doing that. That's for no. You know, there's a whole different feeling that is attached to when you when you fire one with a person. But I, mean, I guess I, I don't want to get into the into the internal ejaculation conversation. Every time I get into this conversation, every male says that I'm a weirdo. I guess I have to say it now. I don't like coming inside of, of people. <laughs> I won't specify gender. I don't like coming inside of people. I think it feels it's so too intense. like coming in the face of people. Uh, usually it's the, the midriff that I prefer because it's less, less yeah. time to go. Really, no, I, I, I suppose I would prefer the face, but there's, uh, 
that uh, you know I'm I'm a very uh, accommodating and I'm 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 a gentleman. So I think unless I were to were to achieve some social status where people you know where people requested to have their their faces came on by me, I think until then I think I'm I'm stuck to the midriff. But there's such a, a there's so many good feelings and thought attached to coming on someone's midriff as opposed to coming on a, on a on a black towel in my room. Why did I say the color? Why would you use black? <laughs> because it shows up more and it makes me feel uh, accomplished. You can see wow. all the cum on it. <laughs> if it's right. Okay, I think this uh, this is probably this is this. Let's stop this. Let's go back to <laughs> <laughs> let's go back to anything else. Jagged, Jagged is uh, Alanis Morissette's breakthrough album. Jagged Little Pill sold a record amount of of albums. It was and it, and 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 there's it's no wonder there's like four great songs on that. Just tore up the radio in the 90s. Check it. God. Mr. Sink, do you remember in the 90s how much Alanis Morissette was circulating on the radio? It was inescapable. I don't remember, but... The thing is... How, how old are you? Yeah, I was about to get to that. Over 9,000. I guess Tell you me. probably didn't know that, but everyone else I'm pretty sure listening is already aware that I'm 17. Jesus Christ, you make me feel like a fucking bad person. I just said awful shit. No, I, I mean, when I was 17, I was fucking firing loads at the ceiling fan. I started I was using IRC when I was nine. I got this. <laughs> IOC? IRC. IRC, Internet Relay. You started using I. Oh, what about ayahuasca? You started using ayahuasca when you were nine? That would have been, <laughs> that, that been a whole thing. I need to go Google that. Be right back. Jesus, I don't, man, that makes me feel like an old, miserly, pathetic swan. Okay, now I figured out I was. am, I am like 20, I'm, I'm 24, and I'm an idiot, because I don't know how much older 24 is to 17 off the top of my, my seven. dome, because I'm, <laughs> seven older, seven fuckers, bro, <laughs> yeah. Seven years, and what have I accomplished? What do I have to show for it? What, a, a probably a, a larger songs. beard? Yeah, that some would say, I suppose. Jeez. Many laughs. You made many people laugh. You made many people happy. That's good. Yeah, but what is laughter? What is laughter if it's not, if the world isn't lubricated? Because if the world well, was lubricated, we'd, we'd keep slipping and sliding and everybody would keep laughing. All this laughter... Th- What's happening now in the non-lubricated reality eventually stops. Eventually, people collect themselves and then they put on a serious face and play disc golf m- more. I'm just curious. Know? What is this hypothetical world lubricated in? It's the slip, the slippery goo, the slipperiest goo you could imagine, bro. Like I'm talking, like oh, like a thin film of it, and, and everything just wink. You know that's that sound when you wink when it, it, it rains and everybody comes in with the tennis shoes and wink, wink. It's just so, it just slides and people just fall. I'm always afraid that I'm going to suffer some crazy freak accident thing and just, and become a vegetable, even though I've, some people find that offensive when you call it. But it really, I mean, it, I think it's an appropriate thing that some, I think we need to realize more thoroughly that when a human's brain is broken, what you have now is a, a, a cadaver that is still breathing. Like, God, do you ever see the iron lungs? They used to keep people in iron lungs for 10 years. God, just kill me. This is my my audio will right now. If I ever, if my brain gets broken, kill me. Kill the body. Remove the head. Put it on a pike in space. Yeah. In space. Did you see the movie Oversexed Rock Suckers from Mars? Not yet. Not yet. Have you watched... What what was I trying to tell you to watch? Waking Life? No, I already saw that when I was ah. about Sink's age. Me too. Around I, well, no, I was around nineteen. God, I there's no reason to look back with regret. You know, there's no fucking reason. But sometimes I really, I really think about how my life would have been if I would have been introduced to these concepts when I was younger. Because God, I was a little shit for a while. And, we all uh, yeah, but man, but these kids now at least they, un- they at least they're they're given the 
the understanding at a young age of what it means to strive to be good and to enjoy not not to be good like to be moral but to but to make life fun and that like being fun is your fucking choice i didn't really understand that as a child i thought that i was at, at the mercy and the whim of other things i didn't know that i could choose to, uh, and i had a full head of hair <laughs> so i what? i had more. well well that, well, it expands. It expands the uh, the circumference, the, the the blast radius, no pun intended, of uh, people that that I can fuck, the people that I'm allowed to be fucking in the dark, you know, or, or oh. fucking in a in a, in a well lit room. Let me say, why does it matter in the dark? Because they can't see me, and they can't see that I look like I look like like Jim Henson fuck DMX. I actually don't have my beard right now, so I look like. An asshole. I look like a villain right now. I look like a I look like a, a weird albino turtle thing. Stop whipping yourself, man! It's like masochism. <laughs> I am though, dude. I'm a fucking stand-up comedian. I can fucking go. I go on stages and talk about how worthless of a creature I am, and people. <laughs> oh, isn't he? Isn't he pathetically cute? Isn't he? You know, oh cutely pathetic. Oh, he God. hates himself, and it's funny. Hmm. 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 We're getting close to the top of the hour. Ah, yes, we have uh, one more minute. In this uh, minute, we will sing. Uh, I don't know. I, I, you know, I've got an idea. It goes up to the bones and out to the fingertips. Up to the bones and out to the finger going up to the bones. Hey, I'm gonna get a fucking nice microphone by next week, so this will sound so much more lovely. It has been lovely, though, magical turtles. I love you all just for existing on behalf of Vosto Sasquatch. And. I don't have anything to say. Enjoy, everybody. It's been fantastic. Join us next week.